Hi folks, County Line Gardener coming back with you. Today is January the 11th, I think it's a Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna get bored again, so I got all I got all my flowers planted. So today we're gonna we're gonna plant some onion seeds. Uh, sometimes I have good luck with these, sometimes I don't. Uh, I always go buy, go ahead and buy bulbs too, you know, and, and transplant them, but I've transplanted these and did very well. Other times I haven't, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, so, uh, I just uh, thought you might want to watch and see how I do it. Like, I, you know, like I've always said, there's no right way and wrong way of doing things. This, this or anything. Do it your way. But this is how I do it. So, uh, first thing we do, Get some good old American Grow potting soil here. Oh, could have used a smaller bag for this, but I just dump a bunch of it in there. In this tray, I'm using a regular 10 by 20 tray. Okay. Alright. Now I'll mix that up. That's not quite enough. We're going to need more than that. Kind of get the, get the clay. It's been sitting there for a while, but that's uh, that's okay. That's okay. Now, that all. Get some more. Get some more here. I want the tray about half full, and I'll show you why I do that here in a second. Um, should have already had this ready. But here we go. Here we go. Now, now, if you can see this, this is Miracle Grow potting soil. Good stuff. Real good stuff. <coughs> I'll use probably oh between 25, 30, two cubic foot bags of this year. The big bags, the ten dollar bags. Okay, I get that all nice and kind of dry. So what I do, I come back. Now and I'll wet it. I'll wet it. I'll get it nice and moist. Not, you know, don't drown it, but get it good and moist here. There we go. Now, and it's already, all the soil's already warm because it's, it's been in here in the garage, my seedling greenhouse for, oh well, this here bag is a year old. Uh, Probably ought to use fresher, but uh, I've never had a problem using last year's soil. Heck, I'll even use uh, the soil, potting soil, out of my old uh, hanging baskets and reuse it. Not a thing wrong with it, as far as I can tell. <coughs> this water, water comes out of a downspout on a corner of my garage here. It runs into a big 55-gallon plastic barrel. It's rainwater. Not got any any of that high tech stuff in it, you know, like uh, I don't know fluoride and all that stuff they put in. Okay, that's good and wet, good and damp. Now, here's where I might differ from other people. On top of that soil there, I wanted to, to throw a little jiffy uh, seed starting soil in it, just a little layer, about an inch on the top. Okay. 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 Well, this stuff is so nice, and this is already moist. You don't have to really bother with that. There we go. There we go. Now, and I don't know how many bags of that I'll go through in in, in one spring. Uh, this is uh, three pounds. And I don't know if you can see over there, <coughs> right beside me, I've got a stack of, uh, there's at least 15 bags of it right there. Uh, I got it for a dollar off, uh, actually two dollars off, and uh, a bag, so I bought quite a few bags in, but not near enough, I still got to go back. Okay, now we're going to, we're going to move over here. To no, we'll just do it right here. We'll just do it right here. Okay. 
You remember that that's moist underneath there. This here is already moist. It come out of the bag. I you know it it just moistens it not not wet, but it is moist. Okay, now we're gonna come in here. Here's there's no scientific way I do it. I mean other people do it differently. These seeds are so small, they're not as small as some of these flower seeds I'm dealing with, but they are small. I'll just start down here, down here on the end or wherever, and uh, I'll pinch that right there. Pinch that, uh, I do, the, the envelope. That just helps it, uh, yeah, let's see, move this water over here. Might be able to see it a little better. Okay, I'll just start in and uh, I'll get me a pencil. That helps you. Can, you know, you could throw these in there uh, not one at a time. It, that, that'd be impossible. But just start dumping them in there, spreading them out. I got another basket of these, so we got to probably need more than that. But for this, this video, we'll just do what we got here with what we got. And it's just that simple. There's no, 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 you know, you don't poke holes. I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay. Going along pretty good here. Okay. There's a couple. Okay. That's one half of it. Okay. <coughs> now, let's do the other half. With some more. Same thing. I've had these seeds. Well, I bought them. I bought them last spring, just didn't use them. They're uh, gold, uh, golden onions, uh, walla walla. The big candy onions are my favorite. Big candies are my favorite, but these are these are nice too. Okay. Now, now let's shoot her up here. And the same thing. Just a different bat bunch here. And uh, going real, it goes real quick. Goes real quick. I'm speeding this up just a little bit. I don't want this video to run too long. Get into them long, long videos. They get to, to me. They get they get boring. Okay, now we got them all on there. Now, very lightly, with your seed starting soil, go back and sprinkle some over it, real lightly, real lightly. Okay. You can actually go like that, you know, pat it down, but not much. You don't want much on there. Got to have room for them seeds to pop through there. They'll come up in, oh, I'm seven to ten days, maybe even shorter than that. But I put them on a heat mat. I definitely believe in them things. Uh, they're not kind of pricey, I thought. They're some, well, they average here at the local farm and country store about... About 24 bucks each, and they're just per they fit perfectly under one of these 10 by 20 crates. Okay, that's that. Put your uh, there. It's my fancy uh, uh, clamp for my soil there. Okay, now one more time. One more time. This time, get her good. Just water the heck out of it. Just water the heck out of it. All right. That concludes that. All right. Now, we'll go down here. Let me get me a tag for it. Yeah, well, let's see here. What color do I want? <laughs> anyway, I buy these by the thousands uh, online. Uh, these little tags. Um, 
and I'll, I'll write the name on it and then Walla Walla I'll stick that right there okay we'll move it to well we're about out of room here well anyway uh, well on the top shelf I do but anyway we'll leave that there for now but put it under your light like I've said in past videos don't uh, don't fall for these grow lights Th th yeah they're nice yeah they're they're pretty but I use well I'll just show you here I use four foot uh, shop lights and that's all it takes that's all it takes uh, just uh, that's all it takes now let's go down here we've concluded that I wanted to want to show you there we go let's go down here and look at the germination let's see I planted, I planted those flowers uh, let's see well it was last week I think it was Monday of last week yeah, let's see here there we go look at this look at that that, thought, that, that there that right there is a hundred percent germination that over there here is too and I don't have any in this end one I think that's my fault I think I missed that whole tray I don't think I put any in it because the germination rate is just too good these are the pansies we'll take about well, I don't know, I, that's my wife's department there, but she'll take these, after they get tall enough, four or five inches, she'll put them in these baskets. We have got over a hundred of these baskets down here. And she'll put them outside, or she'll, she'll, she'll transplant them. Those are pansies. Four, uh, yeah, four trays of them. And here's the coleus. And if you look real close, you'll see some sprouting. These were planted the next day. Uh, I water every day. I water from the bottom. I put, I take two trays out or two, two cells out and water them. And I'll put them back in. But I can lift on them until they don't need watering. Not yet. Maybe by the end of the day. Okay, this, these are all coleus. Okay, let's get down here. <clears throat> zinnias. I had a I had a pack of zinnias. I said, "What the heck? It's not my favorite flower, but I'll plant them anyway." And there's some tomatoes I'm experimenting with over there. I don't know whether I got a. It was a gift when I ordered my tomatoes called the egg yolk, little tiny yellow ones. So we'll we'll see how those work. And those other in the in the little cell tray those. Our bush beefsteak, good tomato in a real small plant. Unbelievable, the tomatoes you get off of that plant for that plant being so small. Highly recommend if you put them in containers, that's a good one to put in. Okay, well folks, that just about does it for me today. Uh, I've rambled on enough. I hope I've helped you out a little bit. And uh, Subscribe and leave some comments. Uh, hope we all do well this year with our gardens and I can't wait it, uh, it's going to be a bad day a bad night here weather wise but I'm on I'm in this warm garage and I'm going to start on my peppers tomorrow I, I know that sounds early but I had I sell all my plants <coughs> except what I put in the garden and they uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me I put out peppers last year the 9th and 10th that's when I, I planted them the seeds and I had the best peppers I've ever had in my life yeah they were big they were big they were they were some of them were blooming when I put them in the ground but I had the best pepper crop I've ever had last year and I think it's because they were so big didn't have to wait on them didn't have to wait on them to grow much so uh, this is the county line gardener I'm gonna get off of here for now I enjoyed talking to you folks and uh, like I said subscribe and leave me some comments uh, we're all in this together and we I need all the help I can get as long as I've done it I still can use the help I'm on YouTube every single day 
trying to learn something. And believe me, I do. So this is County Line Gardener. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.